G'day scientists, the STEM kit I'll be reviewing today is the Rainbow Lab by Galt. I'll be squaring it on fun and price, and finally, whether I think you should buy it. This is the Galt Rainbow Lab STEM kit for ages 5 plus. It says on it, grow colourful crystals to make a test tube rainbow experiment with colour and look through rainbow glasses. There's a warning on the box, choking hazard. It's got small parts in it, so it's not good for tiny scientists. On the back of the box, it tells you the things that you need in addition to the items that are in the box already. We need glass, felt it pens, paper, torch, whole milk, plate, washing up liquid, paper towels, white flowers and scissors. That's a lot of extra things. I feel like some of these things could have been included in the kit. We're in a COVID lockdown here in Australia, so I'm not going to go out to buy a white flower. But that doesn't matter. There's plenty of other experiments to try in this kit. Inside the box, we have the test tube rack, a color mixing tray, three food colors, blue, yellow, and red. Three test tubes, safety glasses, a sachet of potassium polyacrylate, three plastic cups, a pouch containing a stirring stick, mirror and scoop, and a pipette. Inside the document pouch, a rainbow glasses, lab notebook and three coffee filters. This first experiment is about mixing primary colors together to create secondary colors. I've half filled each of these test tubes with cold water and placed the test tubes into the test tube rack. Next, I'm going to add five drops of food color into each test tube. I'll start with the blue food coloring. One, two, three, four, five. Next, I'm going to take the red food coloring. One, two, three, four, five. And then finally, the yellow food coloring. One, two, three, four, five. I'm placing an empty plastic cup in front of each of the test tubes. I filled up a glass with water and I'll be using this to rinse out the pipette between uses so the colours don't get all mixed up in the test tubes. I've noticed the colours aren't quite mixed up in the test tubes so let's give them a bit of a shake before I use them. Um, they come with this handy screw lid so let's put them on and give them a shake. Ah no, <laughs> it's a disaster. They're not all watertight. Now all the colors are mixed up nicely. We've got red, blue, and yellow. The first two colors I'm gonna combine are red and blue. What color do you think we're gonna get? Mm. Mm. It looks like it's still blue or maybe a very dark indigo. Let's um, add some more red and see if I can make it a bit more purpley. Mm, kind of. I'm going to say experiment fail for this one. The next two colors I'm going to mix together are yellow and blue. What color are we going to get? Green. This one worked really well. It's a success. Last one, we're going to mix yellow and red. To get... Orange, another success. I don't know why the purple one didn't work. If you know why, please let me know in the comments below. In experiment two, we're going to be making tertiary colors. We start with the same deal as before by half filling three test tubes with cold water and adding five drops of food color to each one to make a base set of primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. Next, I'm mixing any combination of colors that I want to into the color mixing tray. While I'm mixing colours together, if you want to know which STEM kits to buy, click the subscribe and notification buttons. Now the experiment's complete, and it was a success. 
However, I'm not sure how much I learned from doing it, but it was overall quite good fun. Experiment three creates jelly crystals. We're going to be using the polyacrylate crystals in this experiment. Polyacrylate crystals are super absorbers and they can soak up to 300 times their own weight in water. We need to take crystals from the sachet and add one to each of the compartments in the color mixing tray. Then we leave for one hour. One hour later. The crystals have soaked up most of the water and taken on the colors of the liquids that we had in the compartments. They look like hard crystals, but are actually quite squishy like hard jelly. I think this experiment is a success. Experiment four is to create a rainbow in a test tube, which sounds pretty cool. To start, I've pre-filled these test tubes one quarter full with warm water. Then I'm going to add five drops of color to each of the test tubes to make red, blue, and yellow liquids. Then I'm taking the polyacrylate crystals and adding one scoop to each test tube. Next, we leave the crystals in the tubes for 30 minutes. 30 minutes later. The crystals have soaked up all the colored water and now we're gonna combine them together into one tube. First, empty the yellow into the blue. Whoa, I spilled it again. Then the red into the same tube. Oh no, more spillages. Screw the lid on and then leave for one hour. One hour later. The colors have blended together a little. You can kind of see the blue, green, yellow, orange, red, but it's certainly not as clear as the illustration in the experiment book. I'm going to say experiment fail for this one. In this experiment, we're going to learn about color chromatography. That is unsplitting a secondary or tertiary color into the colors it's made up from. I've picked two color pens for this, a kind of bronzy gold color. I'm really curious to see what will happen with this one. Um, and the second color I picked is a really dark blue color. Now I color in a thick line across the bottom of a coffee filter, about one centimeter up from the bottom, and then do the same for another filter and the blue color. Then fold the papers up and open them up like a flower. Lastly, poke the uncolored tip into the top of a test tube filled with water and leave for a minute or two. Two minutes later. I'm taking the paper out of the top of the test tube and the filter's pulled water up and it's wet, even though the paper wasn't actually in the water. This is the bronze one. And remember, I was super curious to see what happened and nothing. Okay, let's try with the blue. I can see a little bit of color is separated, but not really what I was expecting to see. This experiment is a fail. Please tell me in the comments if I've messed it up and you know what I've done wrong. Our penultimate experiment today is called Rainbow Projector. First of all, we need to remove the nice protective film from the mirror. We also need a glass of water and a torch. I'm going to use the torch on my phone. The instructions tell me to place the mirror in the glass and then shine the torch onto the mirror. Hmm, nothing's happening. Maybe it needs to be darker. Okay, lights off. Ah, we see a really teeny weeny rainbow. Hmm, it was a success, but not a great success. The last experiment is the one that I am most looking forward to because I do not know what is going to happen. It's also the experiment that we need the most extra things for. We need a plate with some whole milk in it and some washing up liquid in addition to the three food colorings that come in the kit. First, we place a few drops of food color in this pattern into the plate with milk on it. And then we take the washing up liquid and just squirt a few drops into the center of the plate. Whoa, that, that is awesome. And it's still moving. This is absolutely my favorite experiment. Now here's the science from the book. The washing up liquid is designed to break down fat. So when you're washing dishes, everything slides off the plates. So when it hits the milk, it sends the molecules of color scattering everywhere. This experiment is a definite success. I love it. There are 12 experiments in this kit and we did seven of them today. 
Some of the experiments are single use, so if you wanted to do them again, you'd have to buy more things. Speaking of more things, we had to add 10 extra items to the kit in addition to the items that were in the kit, which is quite a lot. From a learning point of view, it was quite good. Um, I'd say probably that most of the instructions were suitable for five years and up. That said, supervision is definitely required. You saw how messy I got. Finally, the price point. This STEM kit cost me 30 Australian dollars, which is about 22 American dollars or 15 British pounds. I would say that's quite expensive considering the contents of the box. I am going to give the Rainbow Lab STEM kit from Galt two stars for fun, one star for cost, two stars for learning. To buy or not to buy? I'm going to say not to buy. Although the kit was fun, I found the waiting super annoying in between doing the experiments and actually didn't think it was that great value for money. If you haven't seen it yet, watch this video.